Hey guys, it's Brandon here from Microscope Clarity. Today we're going to be looking at immersion oil. So we're going to take a look at how to use immersion oil. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to take a second and explain exactly what immersion oil is used for. So I have some immersion oil here. The reason we would ever need to use immersion oil uh, is basically to get our numerical aperture um, above one, right? So if you're not familiar with numerical aperture, uh, a basic and simple explanation, uh, it's kind of an oversimplification, but it, it, it works just in, in terms of uh, getting the point across. It's a numerical expression for the objective lens ability to collect light. Okay, and so um, if you're not familiar with numerical aperture, it's kind of a, a complex topic. So if you want to take a look, uh, I've done an article on it, I'll link to it below. Um, I've done a YouTube video also explaining it. So if you want to take a look at those, I would definitely recommend uh, learning about the concept just, just in general. Um, but in the medium of air, the highest numerical aperture we can get is, is one, and that's theoretical. Typically, you don't even reach that. So what oil allows us to do is, it, is it provide a medium through which when light travels through it, uh, up through our um, objective lens, we can actually achieve a numerical aperture greater than um, one. And so why do we care about numerical aperture? So numerical aperture, you'll notice that on your objective lens, uh, the big number here is gonna be your magnification. And then you have a slash, and then you have a, uh, another number. So that is actually your numerical aperture that's uh, optimal for that objective. So, it's, so what you wanna do is on your, um, on your condenser, you wanna make the numerical aperture match the numerical aperture of the objective that you're currently using. So that's gonna give you your optimal resolution. Uh, and for all the specifics behind that, again, you can check out those, that YouTube video or that uh, article for more. Um, so now that you have kind of a brief understanding of, of why we would use it, let's go ahead and take a look at how we apply uh, immersion oil and how we use it uh, when we're observing something. So I have a pre-prepared slide. I just have like a house fly uh, leg here that we're just gonna um, uh, use as an example and we'll get this uh, immersion oil on there and see what it looks like. Okay, so we have the slide ready to go. So here's our house fly. So I'm gonna kick it out to the 40 X objective. Here's our housefly leg again. Just gonna add some more light. So we're gonna kinda try to focus in on this area here and see if we can get even more magnification. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna lower the stage here. I'm gonna first remove the slide. And what I'm gonna do is just place a drop of immersion oil. Uh, first of all, on the condenser. So I'm gonna lower condenser there and also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of uh, move the um, objective just a little bit so it gives me a little bit of room to just place this drop of immersion oil here all right so this is a step that most people forget to do so it does need to be on the condenser lens as well as on the uh, cover slip of the slide. And so what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add a drop of immersion oil. Right on the cover slip. Okay. And then what we're going to do 
is lock in the 100x objective. And then I'm going to move it close to it. But then once I get really close, I'm going to start using the fine adjustment knob. And then I'm going to, first I'm going to move up my condenser lens and just have it touch up against the bottom of the slide. And then I'm going to get my um, 100x objective. And again, using the fine adjustment knob, I'm just going to move it until it makes contact with the immersion oil. I need to open up my condenser, my iris diaphragm there to get us up to the correct numerical aperture, which is in this case is going to be 1.25. So you can see it's it's a little bit darker and we've got not as good resolution here, um, but it's definitely magnified a lot more. So after we're done, we just want to take um, some lens paper and I just kind of uh, dabbed it with a little bit of uh, the lens cleaning solution here. So what we want to do is just take it and just to get the oil off. So you want to just start here and just put the, the part that you've dabbed into the lens cleaning solution and then just drag it across the lens paper. And this will get off the, the excess oil Okay, and then you want to make sure that um, the second time around you can actually just either use your um, either use your finger on against the against the lens paper, or I just have a uh, a Q-tip, and I'm just going to do kind of a circular motion. So I've just got a Q-tip. And you're going to want to do that until there's, there's no streaks, there's no oil residue, anything like that. And it's really important to clean um, your objective, your condenser lens, um, not so much your slide, but you know while you're at it, you might as well. Just because if you leave that oil on there, um, it just makes it really hard to, to get off later on. Okay, so there's your objective lens, and you would want to do uh, the same technique on the condenser lens. So you want to do kind of that, that dragging method just to get the oil off, um, and then you want to use um, the lens paper and the lens, uh, lens cleaning solution to come back in, in kind of in a circular motion. 
um, just use that lens paper to, to get it off and, and just make sure there's no streaks or any oil residue once you're finished. Okay, so we saw how to use immersion oil. It's pretty straightforward, uh, really just two drops. Uh, but make sure you do put the drop on the condenser lens. That really does make a difference uh, from what I've seen. Um, and then you did, I think you, you noticed that whenever we did go up to 100x, um, the resolution was a bit degraded. So you may have to play around with some filters. You may have to play around with uh, the light intensity. That will probably make a difference. Um, but for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to show you um, kind of how to use immersion oil. It's, it's not as scary as it, as it sounds. Um, and if you want to kind of go up to a, um, a, I guess a, the highest, typically the highest um, magnification levels on your microscope, you're probably going to have to use some oil. So I hope that was um, informative. And if you like this uh, kind of stuff, um, definitely like, subscribe and share. And we'll see you next time.